well, that that brief pause that I said, um, we'll come back and we'll do the rest. That was three weeks ago. A lot has happened since then. Um, I had to do a work, some work stuff, some tender responses. I had to look at a secure management pod, leveraging AWS workspaces. Um, I had to do a uni assignment, which I, I can't tell you how much effort didn't go into it, yet I got an okay mark. It's just it's a bit hard when you don't really leave the confines of the, the four walls and then you're expected to work and do a uni assignment. It's pretty tough. It's it's not really an excuse. It's just sometimes just, I don't know, it's just tough at the moment. Things that shouldn't be tough are tough. Anyway, some things have happened. The SRX has gone into prod. <laughs> I know it's an SRX that's older than um, well, older than some kids now in school. It's now in prod. It's actually done a good job. It replaced the Checkpoint 600 uh, appliance that for some reason couldn't do 100 mega throughput. A little baby SRX 110 stepped up, and just smashing traffic. I found a Pi 3. Yay me. I was disguised as a retro Pi. And the Cisco switch, the 4948, it got deployed. It had to go with the um, SRX because the place it went to very much last minute, literally, uh, had a power outage and it blew up some little HP device. So at least now they've got a Cisco PoE switch that's managed. It's a managed switch. And yeah, it just gave it to them. Alas, there we go. That was three weeks ago. How much the world has changed. Let's quickly jump back to where we were. We've moved some files around using the copy module. Now we're going to have a look at fetch. Fetch is getting something from a re remote machine. Um, you might see my head is no longer on the page. We don't need that. So we are, well, there's a bit about the fetch module. So here's something I've done earlier. Again, you can find that on the Ansible modules page. I do request that you check that out and understand how to use and read the module pages. This time, we're going to fetch a file on a remote target. Uh, this is a changelog. We're going through it. And I may as well say, what are Pi 03? Because as I said, I found another Pi. So we're going to be, this time, using a module called fetch. Once that comes back, fetch has a concept of uh, where is the source on the remote machine and where am I going to dump it. The, this one's pretty self-explanatory. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and run it, but I'll walk you through the delete as well while I'm here. Delete, very much the same. Um, again, please check out the module on the Ansible modules page. It tells you how to read. It doesn't teach you how to read. It teaches you how to understand the um, delete file from the con well, the context of the delete file. So here, once again, we are going to become, uh, we're using the file module. But this time we're saying we want the file to be absent. That's our desired end state. So we're thinking we've got a declarative mindset. And this is the file we pushed out in, well, before I went AWOL. So let's get to it. Let's fetch the mo let's fetch the file, and then after we've finished all that, we'll just go and delete it. So here we go. Now, where did my trusty box go? My trusty box sounds like a bit of Baron von Grumble. If anyone is into motorcycling blogs, okay, let's create a new file. Let's move the Jabberwockies. Come on, Mr. Linux box. Okay. So we are going to make a new file. New file. So let's first start. We're going to fetch. Let's declare this is a YAML file. Let's give this one a bit of a name. Name can be uh, fetch testing. Uh, Pull a file on remote servers. Uh, I would remember what the file is. I'll get to that in a second. Host, we want to run this against Linuxes. Now, Linuxes now encapsulates a new server, the What are Pi 03. Uh, that's been added to the inventory. Please check that out. It's up in GitHub. Gather facts. 
No, we have no desire to gather facts at this point in time. Connection is indeed of type local. We could have omitted that because I do have it elsewhere. Become, yes, because I'm executing this as a different user. Now we get into the meat and potatoes. What are the tasks? So, first task, as my iPad in front of me finishes an update and almost blinds me when it goes yellow, uh, white, hola. Well, that can't be good. <laughs> I don't know what's happened there. Luckily, you guys can't see it. I don't have the camera on today because I've gone with a different desk configuration. I've gone with only two monitors and I've closed the laptop. I digress. The name of this play in the way I do things so I can see it scroll across the screen. Play one, which is fetch from my home file. What was it? File one uh, dot txt. That's what we pushed out before. Excellent. I should be able to see that on the screen. Now, excellent. Here we are going to invoke the module. The module is called fetch. Fetch has some arguments of what is the source? Now it's not the source of my Pop Linux machine. This is where does the file exist on the target machine? And because here's something we did earlier, we've already pushed it. If you can go back three weeks in time, it lives in home sysadmin jb file one dot txt. And I just clicked on something. There you go. And the desk, where am I going to pull this locally? It can just go here. Now with fetch, it will by default create a folder structure. And we're going to see that in a second. So that is good enough to save. And we will save that in, where am I? Ansible plays. We are in play. Uh, season 7, episode 1, and we'll call it fetch. You can see I called cop. That's right. Fetch.yamlcamel. And we can save that bad boy. Cool. Excellent. So, now we're down here. We'll bring our terminal up a bit higher. Because, because we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the file. So we're going to go, uh, what's our print working directory? Yep. Okay. So Ansible dash playbook pass to the inventory for this project, which is in inventory im.yaml. Once again, you can see it there. And the path to the play, which is from my, where I am right now, it's in plays. And we just called this play season seven case sensitive and season one seven fetch dot yaml okay let's run this and see how we go i hope i put it on pi three okay we have what's happened excellent i've seen something happen down here cool we what do we have under what our pi file one dot text this is a file created in nano this is a file created in nano this is a file created in nano now as we see um tree what is it called plays um we'll just leave it like that hopefully you can't, won't see anything too confidential excellent won't now as i said by default it's going to create some folders um so that that's really great right there that's the fetch module where are we at nine minutes Cool, we will get the delete module in. So now I've got all these useless file1.txt on my remote servers. What we're going to do is we're going to create another um, Ansible play that's just simply going to go and delete them. We don't need them. It's a good way to clean up if you're moving packages around and you're doing it in bulk. So say you're doing iOS upgrades and you've just got to put the iOS image on the various jump boxes or repo servers, whatever you want to call them. This is quite common. The DevOps guys will normally get quite angry at you. And go, Brandis, clean up your bloody mess. Happens all the time from a, an angry young man called Charis. Well, he's not young. He's older than me. Anyway, <laughs> he, 
He won't be watching. He has no time for this type of shenanigans. Let's declare it as a YAML file. Let's give it a name. Uh, we'll call this file module um, delete and clean up angry Charis. Charis is a real human, by the way. And he is the epitome of what you would think a DevOp man is. He just doesn't have a beard. He may have had a beard in his day. Okay, host, once again, Linuxes, because we were using our Linuxes as repos or image repositories, gather facts. Um, we are not interested in gathering facts. Become, yes, tasks. We're only gonna have a single tasks here. Single tasks, single tasks. And the name is, so I can see it once again, play one and oh feeling a little bit tired delete file one dot txt from my home dir love it when you do it right dir bit of chingy so what are we doing we are using the file module um, if you need to go back two slides and where is it? It's about there on slide 11, which you can't see actually. So you'd actually have to go back, re rewind the track and there you go. So file. <laughs> I know I thought I was actually teaching off a slide deck. It's been one of them days. Actually, it's been, it's been a weird day. I'm not gonna go into it. So the destination, <clears throat> we're on the remote system and it is in home, it is in my home folder, sysadmin, jb. You more than likely will have a different path. I would hope you have a different path, unless you are called jb. And we called this file1.txt. That's the file we want to delete. And how do we say delete it? We're going to say, we're going to pass the state. And this is our what we want at the end of this. And we want it to be ab sent and you know what that is enough to save as and we will call this play seven ah see case sensitive we're going to call this delete dot yaml okay so we've we've gone and ensured that file1.txt is out there because we pushed it out. Now we're going to do the opposite. We are going to go and delete it. So once again, Ansible playbook, path to our inventory, path to the plays, and this one is called season 7 episode 1 delete.yaml. So we can now execute that. What it's doing is it's reaching out to the remote systems and it's deleting them. So let's just quickly SSH into sysadmin and JB at 100.61.0.104. That's one of the pies, I just know it is. Trusty password, Cisco123. Okay. And, well, well, just an ls.l. Well, there is no file1.txt anymore. Excellent, and just to make sure, my my, yep. There's my print working directory, so there's no snake oil going on right there. Oh, all right. So we updated the play. We've we've pushed out. Sorry, talking very quick. We've fetched a file, so we've pulled it from a remote um, system to a local. So that's that's a good one for a backup. And we've also then gone and used the delete um, capability of the, of the file module just to clean up after ourselves on remote systems. It's very common to do that. Validate the file delete. We did that. So I'm sorry that that took three weeks. But at the end of this, the season seven, episode one, it's not end of season, it's end of episode. We got a basic understanding of how Ansible can be used 
to move files around. Uh, I only really scraped the very surface. Um, please go and explore the interwebs for, for more information on this. But I do have an interesting one, if we could see. A topic, does Spanning Tree have a place in the modern data center? And over here we see Dr. Perlman, the creator of Spanning Tree. And this kind of alludes to the type of day I had. I had a an interesting chat. Well, it, it shouldn't have been a chat at all. It should have been an acknowledgement. <laughs> I wonder if he's watching. <laughs> but Spanning Tree has no place in a modern data center. Just just move to something that, that doesn't suck and that isn't 20 years old. Anyway, love to hear what you guys have to think. As always, stay, stay safe, keep studying, and I will see you in a couple of minutes because I've already got the next episode ready where we work with Linux users. Bye.